First, we are going to talk about how data is acquired from a website. At the beginning, the client sends a request to the server, and then the server returns a response to the client. The request response exchange between the client and server is using a protocol called HTTP. In an HTTP exchange, the client sends an HTTP request that specifies the information it needs, and the server replies with the requested data in an HTTP response. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to use an HMI to get the information from a website. One, use a sample website to see how the request and response work. Two, create a project to get the web information. Here we are using a web API to see how a client sends a request and what response a server returns. Go to https colon slash slash swapi.dev and enter the desired URL to get the information. Enter people slash one slash let's get the profile data of Luke Skywalker. The next step is to send a web request to the server. Press request button. And then you'll get the response from the server. In the result field, you'll see the data from server's response. On a CMT XHMI, JavaScript can be used to send a web request and get the information from the web server, so that the data can be transferred from the web server to HMI or PLC's register, which is useful in some web application. Now we're going to demonstrate how to use the JS function in EasyBuilder Pro to get the data from the website. Go to Weentech's JS Object SDK documentation website. Go to Web Request and download the JS resource file. Open EasyBuilder Pro. Select a CMTX advanced model. In the Object tab open JS Related and click JS Resource. Click Add File and select the JS Resource file. Click Copy Path to copy the JS Resource path to the clipboard, which can later be used in JS Object source code. Create a combo button and select Execute JS in Action Group 1. In the config list, press New Value and set the type as String. The URL to be used is https colon slash slash swapi.dev slash api slash people slash one paste this link in value field. Click new value again, set the type as address, set the type of value as word, and the address is lw0. LW0 is where to put the web data. This is the JavaScript source code. Paste the code in the source code field. The code in line 1 will call the JS resource file. Make sure you use the correct path. Line 11 to 14 will call the get function in JS resource code and send the request to the URL we just put in JS configuration. Line 5 to 9 will process the response from the web. Body is the information needed in the response which is the same as this part when you open the URL in the browser. 
The information in the response is usually in standard JSON format. Line 6 is necessary whenever using JavaScript to receive JSON format data. Now let's extract the name from the processed information. The name used is my obj.name. If you want to extract height instead, change my obj.name into my obj.height. Line 8 will write the data of my obj.name into the address in JS config, which is LW0. Press OK to finish the JS setting. Create an ASCII object with LW0 to see the data obtained by using JS action. Run offline or online simulation. Press the combo button to see the result. In this tutorial, we have shown how to use JS code to get the information from a web server and send it to an HMI register. You can download the sample project in this video's information. Thank you for watching.